How's it going everyone? This is Mike. Welcome back to my channel and this is going to be a little bit different kind of video. I'm going to show you the CDs for my collection that I've decided to give away. Uh, I'm, I've decided to start going through all of my collections, uh, CDs, records, DVDs, books, and getting rid of things that are not any longer essential. Things that I know I'll never read, watch, listen to again, so why keep them? And I guess I'm just in a clean-out mode, so that's why I'm doing this. So I started my CD collection here. I came up with something like 112, and it could be an inaccurate count because I counted them very quickly, about 112 DVD, uh, CDs that I'm going to take to Goodwill. I'm not going to worry about trying to sell them because it's way too much trouble, and I just want to uh, recycle them through the culture. Maybe somebody else can enjoy them for a while. So starting off with an artist named Gary Newman. Now, I was a big Gary Newman fan back in the late 70s and bought his records, uh, The Pleasure Principle, Replicas, Telecon, and, and still like that music, and I still have those records. Later on, I bought all of those his early stuff on CD and then moved on from there, uh, some of the stuff that he was doing in the 1990s and early 2000s. So let me show you what I'm giving away. I had a total of 25 CDs by Gary Newman and I'm keeping eight. The rest I'm giving away. Starting off with, um, I know there's a terrible glare here, uh, Exile. And if you have Exile, you may as well get Exile Extended, right? Makes sense to me. Anyway, I did, so. Okay. okay. Gary Newman Ghost. The 1987 Exhibition Tour. Hmm. Berserker. The Fury. Yes, Gary had a lot of fury. I, Assassin. Yes, we believe you, Gary. We know that you're an assassin. Machine and Soul. Gary Newman, here I am. And there you go. Uh, Gary Newman Archive. More live performances. Of course, he does Our Friends Electric and Cars. He always does those. This is something called Pure, when he seemed to be getting into a hardcore uh, goth type of music. Um, the BBC Sessions. Okay, more live music. The Skin Mechanic. What the hell is a Skin Mechanic, Gary? The Other Side of Gary Newman. Yes. Now, this is an album or a CD called Random, which is a collection of other artists doing Gary's music. And I didn't like it very much when I bought it. Dominion Day, Strange Charm. And it's just Sacrifice. And finally, White Noise. Okay. Gary Newman, White Noise. All right, so, so much for Gary in my life. Let's see what else I'm giving away here. Christmas Star Time, featuring a lot of your favorite artists like Roger Williams, Pat Boone, singing uh, traditional Christmas, well, not quite so traditional, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of Christmas music. Sorry, folks. I had a lot of stuff that I bought in the 90s and early 2000s, the dance music, techno, uh, electronica, drum and bass, trance, ambient. I was getting into all that stuff for a while. And now I find that my tastes have changed and most of the stuff I don't like to listen to anymore. So I'm giving a lot of things away. Here's a Roiksop. Is that how it's pronounced? Roiksop Melody AM. Here's Annie Lennox. She's not dance music, but I have this mixed in here. Annie Lennox Bear. Okay. Spawn Ranch. Anthology, Spawn Ranch, Retrofit, that's cheerful stuff, Susie the Banshees, Tinderbox, I was getting into goth for a while too, um, Stevie Nicks, In Your Dreams, I, I played this to death when I first got it, and then after a while I just couldn't stand it anymore, I haven't played it for years, so yeah, although I, I do kind of like, I still like Stevie Nicks. Aliens and Strangers. I love that cover, but I don't like the music very much. High Energy Dance Classics. 
featuring people like uh, the Weather Girls, It's Raining Men, Michael Brown, So Many Men, So Little Time, Eartha Kitt, Where's My Man, uh, Progressive Trance. How progressive is Trance anyway? Here's a soundtrack to Hello Dolly. Now, I actually bought this because I saw Carol Channing up in Chicago uh, maybe 20 years ago doing a, a revamp of Hello Dolly. I loved it. It was a great experience. I came home and bought this soundtrack. I've never played it. So, anyway. Mm. Okay. Planet Dance 3. More dance music. Gothic Rock 2. So. The First of the Microbe Hunters by Stereolab. Here's electronic music called The Absolute Sound. Uh, more goth. Cleopatra Records 2000. Uh, the Darkest Millennium. Yeah, two disc set. Really cheerful. One World Electronica. Into the Groove. Another text, techno dance mix. Euro Tracks. New York New School. Um, this is East Coast Drum and Bass Revelations. I really liked the drum and bass sound for quite a while and then got very tired of it. So here's a U.S. Dance Party. Bronsky Beat, DJ, well, I don't know. The only one I really know is Bronsky Beat, but sort of like post-disco disco, which is not as good as the original stuff. Trance Spotting, whatever the hell that means. Synthetic Pleasures, Volume 1. We've all had we've all had synthetic pleasures, haven't we? No, we haven't. More goth music. This is uh, well, it's just called "This Is Goth," right? So, two disc set. It's, it's, doesn't work very well, does it? Yeah. Who's on this? It's got people like uh, Alien, Sex Fiend, Incubus, Succubus, uh, Corpus Delecti, Mephisto, Walls, Two Witches. Wonderful. <clears throat> Gothic Vampires from Hell. Covered in goth. Hmm? Makes you want to go out and sing and dance, doesn't it? Here's something called 100% Energy. More techno music. Uh, Trance Unlimited. It's a nice cover. I like that. Here's somebody called the Tractor Kings, which I don't... I don't remember why I bought it. I think it's a local group, but yeah, anyway. Uh, Liquid Sky Music. This is Home Entertainment Volume 3. Okay. Liquid Sky Music. Then we go on to Drop Till You Dance. I used to. Now I just drop. Okay. Classic Acid as opposed to non classic acid, I guess. Uh, House Blend Volume 1 Groove Approved. Oh, brother. Dance Works Good to the Last Beat. Oh, here's something. I must have bought this at a Star Trek convention. This is Star Trek Techno Mix by somebody or something called Orion. Uh, they basically just take the original series Star Trek theme and they do it three times. And it's... Uh, that's pretty awful. Okay. This is by the Eels, Shoot Nanny. Now, I bought this because about 20 years ago, I was working with a young guy that really was into the Eels. He was always talking about them, encouraging me to buy their stuff. So I went out and found this. And when I told him I bought this, he said, well, that's not one of their best records. So, sorry. Not very good stuff. Um, Pluto. Sort of uh, new wave-ish type stuff. Oh, this is, this is, um, I bought this because of the, the old, uh, 1962 hit record, Let's Go by the Routers, which I always liked and I always wish I had a copy of it. So I bought this and they actually do a modernized version of it. So it's not the original, it's not very good. And the rest of the music, music is crap. So 
have no reason to keep that. Uh, tribal zone. House music from the jungle. House music. Techno. House. Electronica. I don't know which is which. More Susie and the Banshees. This is a collection of their singles. It's called Twice Upon a Time. Really like Susie and the Banshees for a short while. More Goth by Mephisto Walsh. Let's see, early recordings, 1985 to 1988. This is a group called Motor Psycho. Oh, wait, the other one was, uh, yeah, I always get those two mixed up. The other one was, um, oh, I'm babbling, not crazy. Motor Psycho, the Tractor Kings, I always get those two mixed up. So when I showed you the Tractor Kings, I may have said Motor Psycho, but I didn't mean to. Anyway, this is Motor Psycho. So this is New Order. Uh, not sure why I bought this. It's called Waiting for the Siren's Call, New Order. Where you just say no, I guess you could. Um, Killer Beats by Jeff K. Chill Out, number one, Cafe Noir. A collection of, I guess it's supposed to be chill out music. Kind of dreary if you ask me. Mm. Technomancer, something else. Number five. Uh, uh, Tribal America, USA Dance. Okay. Electric Diamond, still more techno music. Oh, here's something I'm. I bought this album by The Orb, it's called Terrarium, and I ended up buying two copies, and uh, didn't even like one, so <laughs> two copies of a record you don't like, that really makes a lot of sense. Um, you 2 All That You Leave Behind, um, very disappointed in that one I got it, didn't like it very much at all. Lucinda Williams, I heard, I heard her singing on some television show, and I thought she was terrific, so I bought this CD. Uh, this is called World Without Tears, and uh, just don't care for it very much. This is a techno group called Infomatic, with, this, with an album called Nymphomatic. Yeah. Okay. Two CDs by a group called Craft Velt, which I swear I picked these up thinking I was seeing craft work on the uh, covers. And uh, I was very <clears throat> surprised when I opened my eyes and realized it wasn't craft work. Because I love craft work, but this uh, I didn't care for very much at all. So my big mistake. Uh, Marianne Faithful, this is an anthology. And I decided not to keep this because I actually, the only, the good stuff that I like by Marianne Faithful, which is uh, Broken English, I still have on LP, so I don't need to keep this. And a lot of her other stuff I don't care for at all. Uh, maybe some of the very early stuff, but... Anyway, so much for that. This is some hardcore rock and roll, and I can't remember, I can't read this, it's too dark, but uh, I put this in yesterday to, to remember what it sounded like. It was just um, heavy metal rock and roll that does not interest me whatsoever. So anybody recognize that cover, you can tell me who in the hell this group is, because I, I can't read it. Music from the 80s, this has people like... Uh, Echo and the Bunnyman, Erasure, In Excess, and Aha, Take On Me. No, no, that's not so bad. I might actually keep that. Uh, Erasure. Uh, what's it called? Crackers International. Oh, that's, that's clever. This is um, a couple of singles by the Pet Shop Boys. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? It's very hard to see. Okay. This is... Transculture Endless Universe. I like that cover. A cover that moves like that. But, alright. Here's an album by the White Stripes. White Stripes. Um, here's a couple of, this is a couple of Christian music things that I bought fairly recently and I just uh, didn't really know the artist. This is uh, a group of people singing a uh, morning prayer for the liturgy of the hours and uh, wasn't very inspired by it and this is a solo artist it's very very music like music 
Man, very disappointed. Um, Eric Sati, piano music. I very dreary music. I'm sorry for any Eric Sati fans out there, but I just didn't like it. Here's one that's a lot of fun. Pia Zadora. Pia with a Z, and she was trying to turn herself into a pop singer. And she actually had a terrific voice, but the music is just not that interesting. So goodbye to Pia. Um, Macarena Club Mix. Yeah, Club Cuts, sorry. Including the original Macarena. We all went through our Macarena faces, didn't we? Come on, you know you did. Madonna, music. Goodbye, Madonna. Yo Latingo. What's the title of that? Um, oh, well, who cares? Didn't like it very much. Here, here's a, a CD by Everything But The Girl. And I had bought their other, something earlier with uh, Five Fathoms. I don't know if that's the name of the record, but it's the name of the the titles or the lead song, which I really like. And I like the whole record, but I thought I would like this one as well. And I didn't, very disappointed. So this is by somebody called Evette Socrates. And I can't remember where this came from, but I don't like it. Evette Socrates. Anybody know who this is? Um, Henry Cow. I don't remember why I bought this. I think I heard somebody on YouTube talking about some of this guy's music, and it sounded really fascinating. So I found this. Did I send away for it, or did I? Uh, I don't remember. But, wow, didn't like it at all. Depeche Mode. This is called... Um, Delta Machine. Michael Feinstein sings. Yes, he does. And here's a good one. Liza Minnelli, gently. Now, later on in Liza's career and life, when her voice was really uh, deteriorating, she made this album trying to kind of reinvent herself as a jazz singer. And the music is beautiful, but Liza's voice is not. So it's, it's a big disappointment. She does a duet with Donna Summer, and Donna just totally outshines her, which is kind of sad. Poor Liza. You know. This is something called um, Rock Presents Power Age Records. And it's just a bunch of hardcore, hard rock music. Techno Rave 2. Never been to a rave in my life. I don't think I'm going to start now. Uh, Tribal. Best of House Music, Volume 6. House Music. Yeah, right. Power, progressive House, as in house music. Here's Moby, something called Play. Not very exciting. Trans, uh, Trans Nation America 2. Trans Nation. Trans, the progressive experience. Okay. Um... Trans World. Independence Rave. The Invasion of the Earth. Oh, yeah, right. Trans Stimuli. Well, we could all use some of that, couldn't we? Um, Pump Harder. Let's see. Pumping Dance Anthems in the Mix. Yes, Pump Harder. Now, th there were several of these pump pump things, Pump Harder. Um, a couple of my like, I, I, I'm still going to keep them. Rob Zombie, you can have him. Uh, industrial Dance. Used to like this stuff for a while. Don't really care about it now. Speaking of, Industrial Virus. This is a three CD set. Um... Spent a lot of money on this crap. Trans America, I think it's called Trans America. Anyway, no, Trans Atlantic, TNA, right? Another two CD set. Okay. Rave Trans 2001. Let's see. Oh, this is another one I bought two copies of for some stupid reason. Yeah. What the hell? I have money to burn. It's not a problem. Here's something called The Dawning. This is a sort of more chill out music, kind of uh, dance music. You know, not very interesting. Massive Attack. I'm just about to have one. Out There Somewhere. And that's where it's going. Out There Somewhere. Paula Abdul. 
dance mix. Goodbye, Paula. Here's something called Absinthe and Voices that I sent away for just out of curiosity from oldies.com, and I don't like it. And finally, London Electronica. Okay. And that's it. 20 minutes of your life I've taken away from you. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you like any of this music, and uh, I will take these to Goodwill as soon as possible.